Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. I am excited to be here today, excited to join you guys. Um, and we are in 2023, so give you guys a couple seconds to roll on in. I want to wish everybody a happy new year. Um, and I'm really excited about this new year because, again, as I shared with you guys before, this time last year, or a little bit before, kind of like Thanksgiving, November-ish is when we got started wholesaling mobile homes um, and really had the capability of making a massive impact uh, in our business and making over 100000 in the first six months um, of wholesaling mobile homes. So with the new year, I know lots of us have uh, set new goals and are ready to you know, make new changes and make improvements and just really take our lives to the next level. Um, and I want to share with you guys today exactly how you can start wholesaling houses or mobile homes and um, make between five to ten thousand dollars in the next 30 days. So thank you everyone who's saying happy new year. Definitely, if you are here, um, you know, say hello. Let me know where you guys are tuned in from. Um, and if you have any questions while, you know, during this live, make sure you post your questions. The whole point today, I want to really kind of give you guys a blueprint, um, again, to make five to 10,000 in the next 30 days. And, um, you know, if you have any questions regarding that, make sure you ask. Now is the time to ask so that you can actually implement and get it done. All righty. So happy new year to you all again, and let's jump into it. Okay. So, um, first and foremost, you know, I've had some people who are newer to the group, right. And who, um, just are really getting an understanding of mobile homes and, and wholesaling mobile homes, how it's different from houses, uh, all of those things. Right. So want to just kind of sh briefly share that and then go into the steps. Right. So, but wholesaling, I mean, the whole process is the same, right? You're finding um, motivated sellers, right? You're finding people that want to sell their house and are willing to sell their house typically below market value or below market value, right? And connecting that person with a buyer, okay? So, you know, you have a, uh, um, the, you know, a, a agreement to purchase this property and now you are going to find a buyer who you can assign this contract to or just bring uh, to the seller, connect them, have them uh, close on the deal, and you make an assignment fee, right? Um, very simple. The key differences between wholesaling houses and wholesaling mobile homes, the number one difference is um, the competition, right? With houses, everybody in a mama, right, is wholesaling houses. Um, and that it makes it uh, a little bit more challenging to get started in that space, to really get a good footing, unless you are putting a lot of dollars behind your marketing. Okay, so whereas with mobile homes, because, you know, it's something that is growing, it has not it has had it has had a stigma attached to it for a long time. And now people are realizing the value of it and um, the the income potential um, with it. A lot of people are transitioning, but it's still a fully wide open opportunity for you to come in and dominate your market. And that's the one thing that I loved uh, because when once we started wholesaling in our market, there was nobody else doing it, uh, wholesaling mobile homes. So sellers were eager and happy to have us, um, you know, offer our service to, you know, bring a buyer to their property uh, quickly, you know, and cash and all that stuff. So um, that's the biggest difference. And another one, you know, with that being said, right, your marketing expenses are lower. Uh, you're able to, we're able to convert quicker. Okay. So you're able to get a deal quicker. Um, the negotiating is like so much easier because there's not so much competition again there's not so many people in, in this niche, you're able to just come in and literally dominate um, and get things done super fast compared to houses where it takes a little bit more time, um, you know, as well as in addition to that, in, in regards to time is being able to close the deal the same day, right? So with mobile homes, if you get a buyer, 
once you find a buyer, you could close that same day, right? So typically once we find a buyer, we're closing within a day or within between that day and maybe like two to three days out, right? Giving them time to just go get the money out of their bank account or something. Um, if it's like a weekend, maybe we'll close on a Monday, right? So that's 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 a great thing. Whereas with houses, you're waiting 30, 45 days to close, going through the whole title company, all that good stuff, right? So those are some of the key differences between wholesaling houses and wholesaling mobile homes. I had somebody last week say that they've been trying to wholesale houses for over a year, have had have not had success, um, and couldn't conceptualize the idea that they could actually make five to ten thousand dollars in thirty days with mobile homes. Um, and like I said, you have to uh, just understand that this is a different niche. You're targeting a different type of audience. Right, you're having a different conversation when you're talking about can I purchase your house at five thousand dollars when it's worth twenty versus can I purchase your house at two hundred thousand dollars when it's worth five hundred thousand? Right, there's a lot of major differences. Um, most of these are personal property, right? Um, there's a lot of a lot of differences of why we're able to come in and make these changes and, and wholesale these properties so quickly. Okay, so it took us a little over a year to make $100,000 wholesaling houses, whereas we did it in six months. So literally half the time wholesaling mobile homes. All right. So I want to share with you guys the exact steps that we took um, to do that, to make that happen, and for you to do the same. Okay. So I love all the happy new years, happy new years, happy new years, everybody. Um, and I'm just, I'm grateful. I want to, I want to just commend you guys for being here. I know a lot of people are off work today. Right. It's like, let's get this information. But more importantly than getting the information is implementing, implementing. That is the key. OK, so let's get into it. How can you make five to ten thousand dollars wholesaling mobile home? So five to ten thousand dollars essentially is closing one to two deals. Right. So our average wholesale for um, our average assignment fee. So the money that we're taking home outside of the deal is typically $5,000. Okay. So that means, we, you know, let's say we get, we, we get a mobile home for free, which happens often. Right. And we're selling it for 5,000, right. Our profit margin is the difference between the free and the 5,000, or we get it for 1500, right. And we sell it for 5,500 or 6,500, whatever the difference is. And for it to be $5,000 that we take home. Okay. Um, so that's selling one mobile home one mobile home. So can you sell a wholesale one mobile home in the next 30 days? The answer is absolutely yes. 110%. Okay. Um, and this is a great time. This is a great time. You know, I thought like, oh my God, during the winter time, is this going to be good? Like new year, right? All of these things, all these limitations that we put on ourselves when I started wholesaling mobile homes, because we started again in like November, right around Thanksgiving, um, or a little bit before Thanksgiving, like in November, into December, into January. So you can do it. All right. So the first thing that I want to say is to um, select a market, right? So just determine exactly where it is that you want to wholesale mobile homes. Okay. Because, um, you know, we've have had people come to me and, you know, they chose a market that had maybe one mobile home, mo mo one mobile home park, um, or it had very few mobile home sales or none at all. Right. So you do want to choose a location that has some activity and has, uh, some of the audience that you're looking to target. Right. So, you know, we're typically looking to go into, cities or go into um, markets in general that have, you know, maybe 10 mobile home parks, right? And have some sales that we can say, okay, boom, we know that there's an audience here for us, right? We know that the people that we're targeting are actually in this city, um, actually in this market, and there's activity taking place around it, okay? Because again, you can have even the audience, but if there's no buying and selling, people are not really purchasing mobile homes or, you know, in that area, that's not ideal. So ideal, ideally, you want to choose a market that has, um, you want to, hello, hello, happy new year, happy new year. You want to choose a market um, that has mobile home parks, 
in it, as well as you can confirm that it has um, has had recent mobile home sales. Okay, so again, you got the audience and you have the um, activity going on. All right, boom. Now that you have done that, which is a one, two, three process. Okay, we we I can literally um, show you guys just how to do that in like two minutes. Okay, so um, so yeah, so you 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 choose your market right now that you've chosen your market, you already know what your goal is. So usually I would say like set your goal. We already know what the goal is. Like let's just we want to make ten thousand. Like how can we make ten thousand in the next um. 30 days, right? That's closing two deals. Okay. So between five and ten thousand dollars, one to two deals. All right. So now with that being said, I in most cases for mobile homes, about every 25 um leads converts to a deal. Right. Now this could be less, this could be more for you in your particular area. So for us, it was a little bit less, like about every Honestly, like about every 12 to 15, you know, leads that we had, even sometimes less than that, um, we converted it to a deal. Okay. But to be safe and to set yourself up for success, if we say for 25 leads, you get a deal, right? So if you need, uh, if you want to close two deals, you need to talk to, you need to be talking to 25 people that have shared that they want to sell their mobile home, right? You should have made 25 offers. Okay. So that's essentially one offer a day, not even, right? Um, now we, and you should be doing more than one offer a day, but at least you have that concept in your mind. Um, so of course now is the, you know, again, because we were, we're able to, we are able have been able to convert at a higher percentage, right? If you're doing every 10, that is even better, right? Um, and it, it get, again, it kind of correlates to two things. One, choosing a good market. And two, you know, having a good conversation, knowing what to say, being confident, making the right, accurate offers, right? And we'll get into that. Um, so identify... Your, your goal and what you need, right? So you we need, we need to talk to at least 25 people, like have conversations and make offers to them, okay? Now, how do we get to 25 people? How do we get 25 people to call us or get on the phone or go to their 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 mobile home to be able to, off, to make an offer to 25 people? This is where it all comes together, okay? Because you have to do the marketing, right? You have to get in front of the people um, to let them know what you offer, right? And once you do that, you're going to find that you're going to you're gonna start getting a lot of traction because most likely you're going to be one of the few people that are offering this service to owners that own mobile homes, okay? So the marketing aspect of it, right? The and we want to be the great thing about this again is because there is less competition um, and people are more eager because there's nobody else out there offering that this service in them in their market. The price of uh, marketing is significantly lower. We were spending about ten thousand dollars a month marketing for houses, and when we started wholesaling mobile homes, we were spending about five hundred dollars. Okay, so drastic difference. Okay, five hundred a month, ten thousand a month, ma major difference. Okay, so, but let's talk about even potentially free strategies that you can start, that you can literally start today, right after we get off of this live. You can get started. Okay, so the first is Facebook Marketplace. Okay, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal phenomenal place for you to get started. One, because it's free. And two, because these people literally have their hands raised. Like, hi, I'm selling my mobile home. Come get this thing, right? So on Facebook Marketplace, you can go in, into um, 
uh, Facebook Marketplace and find mobile homes or manufactured homes that are for sale. OK, and you literally reach out to every single one of them that are in that are for sale in and around your market. OK, that's a key in and around your market, because we're in the space and time right now where it's time to level up. It's time to get it. Got no time for no excuses or to be scared of nothing. OK, so there may be opportunities that are outside of your market. Right. But. You can still be familiar with them. Let's just say you're in, I don't know. I don't know what, you know, you're in North Carolina, right? That's where I am. And an opportunity, you know, is in Charlotte, okay? Um, it's, and, you know, or, or let's say my market is Charlotte. It's not my market, but let's say my market is Charlotte. And there's an opportunity that presents itself in Greensboro, which is like an hour and a half away from here, right? I believe. Um, if it's something that you know you feel comfortable driving to, then talk, reach out to them. But even if it's something that you don't feel comfortable, let's say it is like in Asheville or something where it's like three hours away or two hours away or something that you just know I'm, you're not driving to, okay? But still in your state, still reach out to them, okay? Because you can wholesale virtually and you can wholesale locally. Okay, you can wholesale without ever having to see the property at all. Okay, um, so you don't want to limit yourself. A lot of people are trying to figure out, should I start wholesaling locally? Should I start wholesaling virtually? And typically I would give an answer like, you know, if you're more of like a touch it, see it, feel it type of person, you know, you don't feel comfortable on the phones, then do it, do it locally, start locally. Right. But if you are, you know, confident, if you've maybe done sales before, have a little bit of experience of being, you know, in the entrepreneurial space, you can start virtual. Now, look, we're in 2023. There's like no time to be holding back. We have to just give it all. So you can do both. You can start both. You can start doing just wholesaling, period. Right. So you can choose your market and say, I'm going to wholesale in Charlotte, North Carolina, right? This is my market. So when there's when there's uh, marketing that needs to be paid for, marketing that's more limited, and you only can do a certain amount, right? That all goes into Charlotte. Now you pour all that into Charlotte, and we'll kind of talk about what that may be next. But if it's something that, you know, you're on Facebook Marketplace, and you can send a message to anybody in North Carolina, maybe even little, little parts of South Carolina, do it, okay? So do not be afraid, implement. So Facebook Marketplace, all right? Um, send a message literally to everybody, again, in and around your market that you're interested in their mobile home, okay? Get on the phone with them, ask them all the right questions and make an offer, whether it's virtual, whether you're making a, uh, an offer on the phone or you're going to the property and just, you know, to talk to them and making an offer in person. Okay. Either way, set up a phone call or set up a visit and make an offer. All right. The next thing, in addition to Facebook Marketplace, um, is you can actually utilize Facebook groups. Um, so Facebook, Facebook groups, and you can post virtual bandit signs, right? You can post in these groups sharing that you are looking for mobile homes. Okay. So Facebook in general is just a great place for us. So the marketplace and the groups. Okay. Now the next thing uh, uh, is going to be bandit signs, right? So you want to order some bandit signs. Um, and every single week you want to place 50 bandit signs, period. I don't care how you get them out, get them out, okay? Um, typically, we like to post them on, you know, on the, typically like Fridays um, because most of the, you know, county workers are not out taking down the bandit signs. They're not, they're not um, desired, right? They don't like it. They feel like it's, um, vandalizing. So I'm not a proponent of saying to do this long-term. 
Um, there are other strategies, right? But banded signs is the best strategy, period. Okay, for mobile homes, let me put a disclaimer. For mobile homes, they're a terrible strategy for houses. <laughs> terrible strategy for houses. But for mobile homes, they are they work great. Okay, so we have a very strategic um, outline of like where we put the banded signs, right? Um, you know, what our banded signs say even to be able to we get people literally calling us back to back to back to back to back. And when I say that these leads are super qualified, typically the bandit sign leads are very, very, usually very uh, highly qualified, meaning that you're able to convert them quickly. Okay. Imagine somebody like pulling over, writing your number down, or I've had like, a lady say she went home and like thought about, thought about my sign, got back in her car, drove back just to get my number. Like that's somebody that's motivated. Okay, and that's what we're looking for, motivated sellers. Okay, so Facebook, Facebook groups, um, banded signs, banded signs, banded signs. You've probably heard me say it once or twice if you've been here for a while. Okay, um, but if you knew and if you go back a couple of videos, you will see me talk about banded signs because they work so well. And so many of my students have gotten deals from, from them. Okay. Um, and then in addition to the banded signs, uh, you have direct mail. Now, direct mail is something that is a little bit more expensive, if you will. I wouldn't really call it expensive. It just costs more, okay? Because at the end of the day, you're still going to convert. Um, but it has a lower, a lower response rate, okay? So, um, yeah. So they just literally... You know, when you send out your direct mail, typically you're going to get, you know, mm, two or three percent to call you back from your direct mail. So you have to send out enough direct mail. You can't send out like we typically are sending out at least five thousand pieces of direct mail per month. OK, or per cycle. OK, and that works great, too. All right. So but I would say if I was looking to make. Five to ten thousand in the next thirty days. I will be the first thing I'm doing right now, today, right after this live, is going on Facebook Marketplace and sending every single post that I see that's listed a mobile home or manufactured home for sale. Send them a message. Every single one of them. I would join every single group and post in every single group, introducing myself, and let them know I'm buying mobile homes, and I will order my banner signs. ASAP. Okay. I would put a, a rush order on them. I might even just go to this, the Home Depot or whatever store, buy 50 so I can get started now while my order is on its way. And handwrite it. Handwrite the first 50, get them out by next week or, you know, it'll be about a week and a half or so. Your signs will be to you. And then you can, uh, you can utilize the the ones that that were um, that you paid for that you ordered. Okay. So when I tell you that this is the strategy, now one of my students, Tara, Tara, I always say Tara. Her name is Tara. Um, she she was like Jasmine. This it just seems too simple. Like it should be more. Like it got to be more to this. It doesn't. This just seems too simple. Right. But I'm like, let's just implement. Right. Let's just implement from experience, from somebody that has the experience. Right. Has done it over and over. And uh, sh her first deal, she made seventeen thousand dollars. OK. Um, and she just and now like her, and her, <laughs> her, and her partner, they literally are like they can't stop. They just cannot stop. And she's like, girl, let me tell you, I, when I put these, I can't stop putting these banner signs out. Uh, we make sure we get up on X day every day and get these signs out. They even have hired people, which we've done too. And, and I teach people on, you know, give you guys a script on how to hire people um, to put these signs out because you need to get 50 signs out. I have way too many people coming to me and saying to me that banded signs don't work. And every single time without question, 
I ask how many signs you put out and the answer is always less than 10. Is you have to put out the volume and you have to do it every single week for the next 30 days. 50 signs. Again, I don't care how you get them out. If you have to do them on Monday, Tuesday, you know, Wednesday, whatever, get it done. If you need to uh, get somebody to help you, hey, can you put out 25? I put out 25. Get it done. Get it done. Okay. So as you guys know, um, last month, right, we had a, um, we had our wholesaling bootcamp, right? And in the bootcamp, it's very uh, action oriented. So it's not like me sitting here talking to you the whole time and me teaching you and lecturing you, right? So it was do this. So let's go on Facebook Marketplace, copy and paste this exact message. So I'm give I gave them the exact message because we've tested so many different messages that now we know what gets the best result, what gets them to call us like not all the time, but way more than any other message that we've sent, right? Copy and paste this. Like this is how um uh, this is how you do your search, right? So that you're you're reaching the right uh, mobile homes because there's some that you can tell that those are wholesalers, those are other wholesalers. Um, and then others, you can see that those are investors, right? These properties that are like 110,000 um, brand new, you know what I mean? Like, so what's the criteria? You want to make sure you're, you're focusing on the mobile homes that will most likely lead to you closing a deal. Okay. So here's the copy and paste message. Send it, right? Boom. Do next day. It's like, here's the copy and paste message to put into every single one of those groups. Um, because we've seen what works with our students over and over and over. Boom. Did it, right? And um, literally, we had students. Now, this was a three days. This was three-day boot camp, Okay. Every single one of the students that attended had leads, got real seller leads, had phone conversations or showings uh, scheduled, okay, in three days. And this is, most of them got it on the first or second day. Um, th then several of them sent con had contracts already sent out, got all the information that they needed from the, the script that we provide because it's important that you know the right questions to ask so that you can make the right offer. Because what, we, what I noticed from my own experience, okay, I was wholesaling houses for a while and for a while, for years. <laughs> and the difference uh, in questions is pretty drastic. Like there, there are some, let me say this, there are some questions that are pretty drastic, that are drastically different in wholesaling uh, or investing in mobile homes and um, houses. Okay, so just for like an example, asking, are there any soft spots in the floors, right? That's nothing I never asked when I was doing houses. It wasn't a factor. It That wasn't even in my brain, right? Um, so, you know, asking these very particular questions geared towards mobile homes, and it helps with the... Uh, one with you being able to make an accurate offer because you're asking the right questions. And then two with just getting the confidence from the, the seller to know that you know what you're talking about because you're asking questions that are pertaining to mobile homes and that are important if you were, you know, buying a mobile home, right? If you don't ask certain questions like, they didn't even ask me about this, that don't even make no sense, right? Because that is um, general, that, that, that is, that is, um, um, What's the word that is common, it's common for the mobile home space, right? Um, so they had this script, so they literally already had uh showings and sent contracts out. We had Jay, he sent out three or four contracts. Oh, he sent out four contracts, he sent out one contract that was way overpriced. Um, <laughs> so we had to like we you know we went over the deal, showed all the pictures and stuff, or reviewed all the pictures. Um, and was able to help him identify like what you should have offered on that, right? Because that's one of the hardest things is really identifying the price. And I would say to that point, because I want you guys to be able to not only find these deals, um, not only 
you know, talk to the sellers, but be and, and make offers, but be able to make accurate offers. So one thing that you can do to make accurate offers, be able to make accurate offers is to post a ghost ad. Okay. So you can just post a ghost ad and see what type of offers you start to get. And you can utilize that information to tailor your offers. Okay. So the people that were in my last boot camp, they actually uh or in my boot this upcoming boot camp that we have um next week, um, they're gonna be getting a price sheet. So it will show you if it's a 1990, between 1990 and 2000, uh, one, two, three, four, or five star, here are the price ranges, right? So we already did all that hard work for you. <laughs> okay, so you guys will be getting that um sheet, the pricing sheet. So, um, so yeah, so you want to be able, you want to post that ghost ad so you can be able to identify and learn and understand pricing so you can make accurate offers and then sell that bad boy. And let me tell you, a lot of people concern themselves. Should I get a buyer? Should I get a seller? Should I work? Should I get a buyer first? For mobile homes, get the deal, get the deal, get the deal, get the deal. The buyers are lined up waiting for you right now. They're waiting for you right now. Okay. As soon as you post a deal, your, your inbox or wherever you post is going to be blowing up. So that's the easy part. Getting that thing sold as long as it's a good deal. All right. And then you close it. And the great thing about closing mobile homes is you can do it the same day. You can do it the next day. So when you show the property, if a buyer comes, they're interested, they have the money, close it. You can close it. All right. Um, let's go to these questions. So, you know, obviously I want to share with you guys that we do have our upcoming boot camp coming up um, January 9th through the 11th. Okay. So if you want to register for that and we're literally, again, I'm going to do this with you. So we're going to be doing this. I'm going to be doing this with you side by side. It's very limited space. It's not something where it's going to be 100 people, not even 50 people. Like It's very, very uh, limited because I want to be able to actually walk through the process with each and every one of you, actually analyze each market with you, each and every one of you. So you could say, yeah, you're in a good market. No, you're not in a good market. Like You guys have deals. We're going to actually analyze your deals um, and your leads, right? And I just can't do that with these big groups. Like this is for like the VIPs who are ready to really, really take action in 2023 and really ready to make five to ten thousand dollars in the next 30 days. Okay. So last class, LeBrandon, he ended up making eight thousand five hundred in 30 days from the time that we started the boot camp. Okay. And let me tell you something about LeBrandon. He implements Okay, do this. All right, boom, boom, click, done. Like he doesn't even give his time, himself time to think and like consider and nothing. It's just done. Um, so of course he saw the results. Uh, Wanda, she made six thousand dollars in like she made it like two days after the boot camp. <laughs> so she made it in like less than a week. Okay, from these strategies. Um, this is not. Um, it is po it's just possible, okay? And if you have somebody walking you through the process, giving you the copy and paste, what to say, giving you the script, what to say, giving you the pricing, what to offer, it makes it all that much easier. All right, so if you are interested in joining the boot camp um, January 9th through the 11th, um, this is the link, wholesalingbizacademy.com forward slash everything. And if you register ASAP, if you register now, we have a $50 off, um, $50 off sale <laughs> that's happening that ends tomorrow. Okay. So $50 off, it ends tomorrow um, at 11.59 PM Eastern Standard Time. Okay. So if you want to get in and get $50 off and inside of the boot camp, we're going to be... Um, because, you know, as if you don't know already, I'm going to be taking a maternity leave after this boot camp for a while. So um, I've included a bunch of bonuses for you guys because I want you to have all the resources beyond the boot camp. 
um, that to build a super successful wholesaling business. As I share with you, we made over a hundred thousand in the first six months wholesaling mobile homes, and we literally have students doing the same. Okay, so this is not something that's like you know undoable. It's super super doable. It's super easy. You just have to be consistent. You have to just put in the work. Um, but I would have to say that the work to do this versus other strategies that I've tried or have done for years is a lot easier. Okay. A lot easier uh, and quicker, way quicker. All right. So you guys can head over there, get your 50, 50% or your $50 off sale today and tomorrow. Um, and then get all the bonuses, which includes like courses and all types of stuff. It's, it's, it's crazy. All righty. Um, let's head over to these questions and see, as I said, January 9th to the, to the let January 9th to 11th, right? 9 to 11th. Yeah. To the 11th. She said, I'm ready. I got to find out who that is. This thing doesn't let me see you guys' names. I can't stand it. Um, but I appreciate it at the same time. So let's see. Let's see some questions. I need buyers for Florida area. I have some some up and coming deals coming soon. Let me know. So if you guys see this person, whoever commented this, um, let me go to my Facebook and see if I can see who posted that. But you guys can link up. You guys can always do joint ventures. Um, but like I said again. When I tell you that the buyers are lined up waiting for you, I mean it. So like you really don't have to concern yourself. I think a lot of people take a lot too much time um, waiting for. Sorry, guys. I got my. There we go. Sorry. I'm trying to see who wrote that comment. Um, but yeah, they take a lot of time trying to. Um, find buyers, get everything lined up. I want all my buyers lined up. I want everything lined up. Start taking action right now after this live. Go on Facebook, go on Marketplace, send every single one of them a message, okay? You might not have the, the ideal message, right? If you join the boot camp, you're going to have that on Monday. Don't worry, but it doesn't matter. Start messaging them. Let them know that you're interested. Start taking action now, okay? The buyers will come. Don't worry about it. Get a deal, post it. That's it. Okay. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Happy New Year to everybody. Again, I'm so excited for this year, guys. I mean, I'm always excited, but I'm really excited. Um, all right. Somebody asked, so on the weekends, the county workers don't work. No, they don't work on the weekends. They work Monday through Fridays, nine to five. Um, yeah, so they don't work. They typically don't work on the weekends. Um, and especially the workers who are, um, going out and like pulling signs and stuff like that. They don't do that on the weekends. Okay. Example of what groups to post virtual banner signs in. So you can post them in like, you can find mobile home groups in your state, mobile home groups in your city. And you can post them, post in those groups. Where do you prefer to, prefer to buy banner signs? Um, I buy my banner signs from, um, where I buy my banner signs from? Well, I can't think of the name right now. Somebody help me out that, <laughs> that knows where I buy them from. Um, Dirtcheapsigns.com. Whoo, child, I don't know what just happened. I'm really having pregnancy brain. I never had this before. Um, but this pregnancy, yeah, I'm 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 forgetting so much stuff. It's crazy. Uh, or I just have like brain farts and then it comes right back. Dirtcheapsigns.com. Um, I don't have any affiliation with them. You know, if you find uh, one that's cheaper or better, go for it. Uh, I can tell you that my signs, I order like bundles of a hundred, typically about three hundred dollars for you know shipping and everything like that they're pretty heavy so we buy the signs as well as the h sticks so like the 
uh, steel sticks that you put into the ground, we, you know, we ordered them as a package. So usually about 300, like $30 or so. Um, and man, I can tell you this is so, so valuable. I mean, you close one deal again, you're making $5,000 or so. Uh, what if you're doing a market virtually? You need to be more specific. Like, what about it? What if, what if, what about if you're doing? What about if you're doing a market virtually? Everything's the same. Um, the only thing that could be potentially potentially different, uh, or would be different, is placing your bandit signs. If you're doing it this virtually, you would need to have boots on the ground uh, to po to post your to yes, post your local, your physical bandit signs. So you can do the virtual bandit signs, but to post your virtual bandit signs, or excuse me, your local bandit signs, your physical bandit signs, you have to have somebody like a boots on the ground to actually post it for you, place them for you. Okay. So we have, there's a whole section that we go through on that too in our boot camp, like hiring them, how to pay them, how to um, track them, because that's a big, big, thing. Um, you don't want to just send them your, your, your bandit signs and like hope that they put them out. Like you need to be able to track their performance, see that they're actually placing them. Um, yeah. Cause that's very important. Okay. Uh, I wish there was a contract to pay after you complete your first deal, maybe even offering Klarna or Afterpay. I'm guessing that you're talking about the boot camp. You wish you can come to the boot camp and then close a deal and then pay for the boot camp. I'm get I'm assuming that that's what you're talking about. Um, yeah, that would that would be great, but sorry, we do it is a um you know, it's a great opportunity. So if there was something, you know, if if you know that you are going to execute and put literally every single effort into it, I would highly recommend um, finding the resource. It's it's super super reasonable considering everything that you're getting. Um, so find the resource if you're able to get in and literally 10x your investment in one deal okay and you can do this in like i said wanda did this in one week lebrandon she did six thousand in one week lebrandon did eighty five hundred in 30 days okay um so it's super possible uh tira just messaged me again she literally just closed another fifteen thousand dollar deal completely virtual so now she does virtual and local Okay. And it's so many more. Okay. Thank you for the information. You are so welcome. Um, do you have any concerns for your safety when meeting buyers? So typically I um, would say, you know, you want to, you want to have conversations um, with the buyers, you know, prior to asking particular questions. Of course you can never, um, no, 100%, but we do let the buyers know that we don't do one-on-one -on -one showings at all, okay? So we always are doing group showings. Um, yeah, we don't do one-on-one -on -one showings. I don't, if it's Johnny likes the property, we don't go run and show him. We tell him, great, we're showing a property on Saturday at 12 o'clock, see you there, okay? And we let them know that there's going to be other buyers there. It's no secret. Um, so that, you know, if they had any funny ideas, they know there's going to be other people there. Um, but outside of that, you know, if you if you feel, want to, um, like I've had one student, Jamie, she goes live on, well, she has gone live on Facebook uh, while she's doing her showings, right? So that's something, you know, if you want to go live while you're doing your showing um, or just let somebody know where you're going to be and be on FaceTime with somebody. Um, if you feel uncomfortable, but no, I've never, ever felt uncomfortable going to show property. I've never had anybody 
do anything particularly crazy, uh, not to me um, or anybody else. We have had people like try to like block other people from coming because they wanted the property really bad. So like they went down the driveway and was telling everybody that the showing was over, the the deal was done, you know, things like that. Um, but that was the craziest thing that we've ever had happen. <laughs> so no, I don't feel that way. Uh, looking forward to class. Can't wait to get started. Awesome. Awesome. I can't wait to see you there. Do you need a contract to wholesale? I highly recommend utilizing a contract. Um, so you do. And of course, in the boot camp, you get the, the contracts both for the buyer, for the seller. Um, and I also give you some additional contracts in case you get a deal, a house deal, because that's a whole nother conversation. But you're going to get house deals with mobile homes. It's going to happen. OK, uh, so you want to know how to handle that. You want to have the contracts for that, too. But, yes, I highly recommend having contract because um, the contract just it, it it locks everybody in. Right. It locks everybody in mentally um, and, and legally, too. Right. So if you are talking to somebody, you know, I do know people that that some people say, well, I didn't use a contract for this one. Um, and that's OK. But if you do something like that often, you're going to get you're going to run into where people feel like they can, you know, if another buyer comes along, um, that they can just accept their offer, right? But if you have a contract, they've signed, things of that nature, in their mind, like they feel like I'm already locked into something, right? I have a, I have a, a contract. Uh, so I like to use a contract to, um, you know, let everybody know we're locked in. Um, and usually we, we find that it gives the sellers a lot more confidence, both the sellers and the buyers, a lot more confidence in us. Um, you know, it shows that that level of professionalism and commitment from us. Okay. So it's not like, hey, I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna get you that five thousand dollars, right? But like we're going so far as to say, hey, look, we're willing to put this on paper, we're willing to sign this documentation. Um, of course, in the contract, there are terms that give us an out. Right. If we're unable to to close the deal um, without any ramifications, but doing so, again, provides that confidence and that mental uh, commitment. OK. Um, when people call for the band of signs, do you give them your business name or full name? I just give them my name. Like, I don't I don't I don't make it super like professional. Um, I've really found in this niche particularly, um, it's a very kind of laid back mom and pop type feeling type of niche. So people feel more comfortable doing business with people versus doing business with businesses uh, for the most part. Okay, so I, I don't give them my, my full name. I'm like, hi, now, hi, this is Jasmine Giddens. You know, like it still sounds very professional. Doesn't sound kind of just personal. I'm like, hey, this is Jasmine, right? Like very just more laid back. Okay. Um, now, when it comes to contracts and stuff, you know, then that may be a different story. You want to, you know, you sign the contracts appropriately based on if you if you're doing this through yourself or doing this through your business. Um, we operate through our business. So, but when you're having that conversation, never, we never use that. Thank you. You are very welcome. You're very, very welcome. Do you ever use an assignment contract? Yes, we do. We do use an assignment contract. Um, we'll either use an assignment contract or in another purchase agreement contract that has clauses in there, like just with the assignment of the original contract. But yes, we do. OK, and those are the contracts that we provide um, in the boot camp, too. So you have literally everything because it's not enough to just have the information and like know how to find the deals. You need the, the tools to actually close the deal. Right. Um, so, yeah, we do use that. We do. Um, Use those as well. Okay. Thank you for answering my question. You are so welcome. You are so welcome. You guys, I really appreciate you guys posting questions today. Um, 
again, because this, you know, I want to be able to serve and give you guys as much information as you can to go out there in the little time we have right uh, on this live to actually go out there and implement. Um, so I, I just, I want to, again, just wish everybody a happy new year. Um, I hope everybody took some time to just establish some goals and or habits, um, that you want to incorporate into this new year. Um, you know, that's going to really, really benefit you again. This is not the time to be on the fence, on the borderline times are changing. Things are just moving so fast. This is the time to get in the game, like literally get in the game um, and make it happen. Don't be afraid, like do it afraid, right? Do it afraid, try different things out. Everything is not going to, you know, unless of course you get like some mentorship or coaching, um, which I absolutely recommend coming to the boot camp um, this January 9th through 11th. Um, but just go for it, implement, get the information, don't wait. Don't say, I'm going to do this on Monday. Get the information. Implement today. Okay? You It's 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. About to be. You got many hours before you go into sleep. You can go on Facebook, look at some manufactured houses for sale, and send them a message. Okay? Period. Um, and, yeah, I just, I, I'm, I'm praying that everything that you desire and you deserve comes to full fruition this year. Uh, and yeah, I just, I really, really just want to share my appreciation for you guys being a part of our group. Um, it's just been, it's been great. I'm just, I'm excited and like have all different types of emotions because this is our last boot camp. So this is our last boot camp, like ever. Um, I'm not going to be doing, even when I, you know, cause I'm going to be gone for a while. <laughs> um, so that's why I'm giving away everything because I want you guys to literally have everything. That's why it's called wholesalingbiz.com forward slash everything. I'm giving you guys everything I have, all everything I use. Um, Because I'm going to be gone for a while. So it's going to be sad. I'm going to miss you guys. Um, Yeah. But I'm excited on the other note, like to have my baby girl, finally get my girl. Um, So yeah, I'm going to be just here with my baby, with all my babies. Um, And yeah. Uh... Let's see. A couple more questions rolled in. Do you ever get into wholesaling the land, wholesaling the land that the mobile home sits on? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, and I go into that in, in a little bit in the boot camp, but more so I give you the resources to be able to do that. Because what happens is I shared earlier, like you're gonna get you're gonna get house sales like they're gonna come regardless if you want it to or not and that's another cool thing about mobile homes is like the houses come with it too some of the houses come with it too or some of the mobile homes have been converted to real property and you have to know how to handle that right and use the proper contracts um so um so to answer your question yes sorry i got stuck there for a second to answer your question, yes, we do wholesale the land. Um, in some cases, like they'll have a house on the the land. They're, they're selling the house and they're selling the mobile home, right? And we can help them with the whole package. Okay. Um, If we need coaching while you're away, do you have any recommendations? So while I'm away, I am going to be offering um, or what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be uh, you guys will see me posting like our ebook or my ebook. Right. This ebook is very, very detailed. And the package, um, I will be including some like some some really useful resources in the package. The ebook literally is from everything from A to Z. It's not like those ebooks that you read and you like. You just told me what wholesaling is. Like, I don't need the definition of wholesaling. I need to know how to get it done, what to say, right? So you'll have that. Um, and then for the people that order the ebook, if they do um, want a consultation, like an hour consultation, I will be offering consultations. Um, so if you need a consultation, I'll still be here for that. Um, but as far as like, you know, these boot camps and these big, you know, um, you know, long-term type of, opportunities. We won't be doing those. Okay. So if you need 
And honestly, I really find that majority of you guys just need a consultation. A lot of y'all paying $10,000 for coaching and you really just need a consultation. You really just need a consultation. You just need like, you got a couple questions, like let's get those questions answered. Let's put together a plan around those questions and then go off and get it done. And maybe like a re, like a re, maybe like two consultations, but you know, to just like a follow up, but you don't need, you really don't need all that. Uh, do you only look for motivated sellers? So I'm, 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 I mean, generally speaking, yes. Um, because we want to be able to get the, the property under contract for, you know, a decent price. Like we want to get it for, you know, below market value, um, so that we can wholesale it. So if you are looking to, you know, flip it, or you're looking to hold it as a rental, then you can look for more, um, different sellers, maybe sellers that are not, that are not as motivated because your strategy is different. Right. But if you're wholesaling, wholesaling, the idea is to get it under market value, to sell it to either an investor or an end buyer at a, you know, good price. OK. Can you repeat the information where you were speaking about wholesaling with the land home it sits on? I just joined and had just ended what you were saying. Um, so just yeah, just generally speaking, I just was say, saying saying. Um, mobile homes, you know, some of them are sitting on land. Um, you want to be able to know how to wholesale the land. Some of them are sitting on land that also has a house on it. So you want to be able to know how to handle those situations. So again, in addition to a lot of the other co coaching, right, it's um, strictly around um, mobile homes. So I've wholesaled houses and mobile homes. So can help you with uh, wholesaling the land, wholesaling the houses, um, and the important thing with that, too, is m there's going to be a lot of mobile homes that are going to be for sale that are on land that have been converted to real property. Right. So they don't have a title. They have a deed. Knowing how to handle those properties, um, knowing how to analyze those properties, because they're different from analyzing a, a, a mobile home that's, you know, still has the wheels and still has the axles and all that and still has the title. OK. So these are things that are very, very important, um, you know, in, in making your offers and analyzing the properties. All right. Well, that seems like those are all of the questions. Again, I want to wish you guys a happy new year. I want to thank you for taking the time to be here with me today. Um, and I want to invite you to join our last boot camp um that's going to be really good and you're going to get everything 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 to wholesale mobile homes wholesale houses everything you need contracts pricing sheets calculators scripts everything okay um so again today or tomorrow will be the last day to get the 50 dollars off um just head over to wholesalingbizacademy.com forward slash everything all right, guys, let's see. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> she said, thanks for repeating the information. Absolutely. All right, guys, you guys have a good one. And again, um, a blessed, uh, prosperous new year. Bye-bye.